short-term benefits of grain legume fallow systems on soil fertility and farmers' livelihood in the humid forest zone of Cameroon. This article is written by eight authors. First author Lawrence Dayton and Nanganoa. Second author Jeterong Kangafak Njukun. Third author Christopher Ngu Song. Fourth author Son Kone Garatach. Fifth author Godwin Suns Yinda. Sixth author Jeremiah Dan Dubnolo. Seventh author Juliana Naaman Gong. Last author Francis Edgbson Gome. Contribution and originality of the study is that. This study contributes to the existing literature that reports the benefits of grain legumes on soil fertility improvement and also showed that the integration of grain legume fallows into agricultural systems in the humid tropics generate income for smallholder farmers and could serve as motivation for their adoption. Soil fertility management of smallholder farms in the humid tropics is a major issue as a result of inherently low fertility with nitrogen being the most limiting plant nutrient. Use of grain legume fallows could improve soil quality through nitrogen fixation and ensure food and nutritional security in developing countries. This field trial was laid out in a randomized complete block design, RCBD to evaluate the short-term benefits of grain legume fallows, common bean, groundnut, cowpea, and soybean, on soil fertility improvement and income generation in relation to a national weed fallow system. The results showed the total soil nitrogen content ranged from 0.19 to 0.24 percent, and differed, p0.001, significantly with the highest in common bean plots as compared to the others. The soil organic carbon SOC, content was highest in cowpea plots 3.36%, and lowest in the natural weed fallow 2.77%. However, the SOC were not significantly different among the fallow systems but were higher than the SOC of the soil before sowing 2.41%. Grain yield ranged from 1.0 to 1.9 tons slash ha and differed, p0.001, significantly. The highest profitability of integrating grain legumes in farming systems was recorded in the groundnut fallow, followed by soybean, and bean. Cowpea generated a negative return, while the natural fallow system had no effect. Integrating grain legumes fallow into agricultural systems in the humid tropics enhance the value of the fallow lands and may serve as viable short-term economic incentives for smallholder farmers. Thanks for watching this video of International Journal of Sustainable Agricultural Research Volume 6 Issue Number 4.